Well, good afternoon, folks. It's the real Captain Kirk here. It's the 24th of April here, the last Sunday here in, uh, in April. Uh, we're live from one Bethlehem Plaza here in downtown Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. A lot to cover here today. Uh, first thing we're talking about is uh, obviously everything we do with yearhead weather is uh, more statistical math based than 24 climate cycles. One climate cycle that you're familiar with is La Nina. Still a moderate event out there. Again, uh, equatorial Pacific is pretty cold. Uh, Atlantic's very warm. Uh, so again, there's a a lot of factors here that would go into our forecast, but uh, we do believe La Nina is going to wane as we go into the latter half of this year and uh, certainly start to fall apart as we get into winter. In fact, we expect a El Nino event as we get into 2023. So if we look at our, uh, again, sample of our yearhead forecast here, this is for the few days uh, before and after Christmas here, so uh, 2022, cold. Uh, here in the U.S., we're projecting the coldest and snowiest in five years, uh, pretty much wall-to-wall -wall cold except for maybe the West, uh, maybe warm up in Canada and parts of Europe. Uh, Western Europe may be on the cold side, and then warm down in Australia for part of their start of their uh, summer season. So, again, just a sneak peek at our year ahead forecast. Looking at uh, last week's summer here on our retail calendar here, this is a week ending Saturday the 23rd. Here in the U.S., we are about 3.5 warmer than last year, seventh colds in 37 years. So warmer, but uh, again, still well below average across the country. Uh, precip, about 39% wetter than a year ago, 12th wettest in 37 years, so above average. And uh, snowfall was a little bit less than last year, but still fifth most in 37 years. So much above average on that front. Just looking at some trends here across the world here up in Canada. Uh, number one cold in 37 years. So frigid across Canada here for uh, for late April. What is in three years up there? UK a little bit warmer than last year, but again, Europe, Russia, China, all uh, uh, below average temperatures. Um, looking at Australia, again, warmer than last year, above average. And then uh, world overall, just a little bit warmer uh, than last year, but still below average on a world scale, at least where people live. Maps inset left are the trends for temperature and precip versus average. Looking at this week here, again, the last uh, last full week of April here. So here in the U.S., about 3.8 degrees cold in last year, coldest in 14 years. Ninth colds in 37 years, so pretty cold, below average uh, national temperatures. Uh, really cold there in the upper um, Midwest. i got to, again, worry about some frost and freezes here. We'll look at that here in a second. Precip, again, uh, about 17% dry in last year, driest in seven years, eighth driest in 37 years, below average. Snow is in three years, but again, that's just a very spotty elevations of the of the northwest. And again, below average. Um, we'll look at the uh, frost and freeze risk here. So not only here at the end of April here, there's uh, quite a bit of obviously freezing temperatures, but even in the first couple days of May, we have to watch out here. That dotted line inset left here. So really anywhere from western Kansas across northern Missouri, northern Illinois, northern Indian Ohio, and into parts of the northeast could certainly have some frost and freezes for those first couple days of May. So... Be careful with your tender plants out there and for farmers, uh, again, planting, um, again, some frost freeze, freeze risk here as we get into early May. Next week, looking again, that first full week of May, again, you see pretty much that cold trend here. So about a degree cold in last year, 11th colds in 37 years below average. So really, really from uh, the northern half of the country, just uh, well below average temperatures. Uh, south, pretty warm. 21% drier than last year, 17th driest in 37 years below average on that front as well. Um, map uh, inset left there is the trends precip trends versus average so pretty wet from again across the uh, central illinois all the way into eastern pa here so dry enjoy this dry week here because uh, next week could be on the wet side we just aggregate these two week trends here now for again the last week of april first week of may again you see again northern tier of the u.s pretty cold uh, warm to the south um, cooling off here in europe again so uh, especially uh, eastern europe uh, looks to get uh, much much colder Took the Mrs. Captain Kirk here to uh, Longwood Gardens here to see their, actually it was on Earth Day, Friday. Um, again, it was uh, pretty epic. There were a lot of people there, again, and uh, didn't realize that the, they were all drawn to the tulips, again, in peak bloom. So it was absolutely gorgeous to see all the different tulips they had there. So if you get a chance to get down to Longwood Gardens in uh, southeast Pennsylvania, it's uh, definitely worth the trip. Uh, and again, these will probably be gone here probably another week or so, so. With that, folks, we hope you have a great week, uh, and we will be back here again this time next week.